Hello everybody, welcome to the series on what's happening in the business world when you are sleeping last night. Well, this being a weekend episode, I just thought I'll just share a bit about why I'm doing this series. In my opinion, business news is not like Bahubali series, right? Business news is more like a Netflix documentary movie. Unlike Bahubali, which is an edge of the seat thriller, Netflix documentary is probably a little bit more boring. It is hard to understand, follow, and the first thing you need to actually pay to watch that content. Business news has the same problem. There is a lot of background associated. So if unless you know the background, you won't understand the context. On top of that, there is a lot of jargon and you need to pay to read this news. And my objective through this series is to make business news more accessible and also fun. If you have questions related to whatever content that I am sharing, please let me know in the comments box. Please also share whatever terms that you don't understand. I'll try my best to answer these questions. If you like this video, please press on the like button and share it with your friends, family so that I also have a little more encouragement to do these kind of videos. Thank you so much for all your support so far. In today's episode, we are going to talk about Elon Musk and Twitter. In my personal opinion, Elon Musk is getting a lot of things wrong with respect to the Twitter platform. He's combining Twitter platform with a product perspective, right? You buy a Tesla for $40,000 to $80,000 price point and you go back, you take it away, you are happy versus not. Done. That's the deal with the customer. And it's the same thing he's also adopting at Twitter, right? Whoever wants to pay $8 for a Twitter blue tick mark, they will pay that $8 blue tick mark fee and they'll stay on the platform. Happy, right? Unfortunately, the folks who don't have anything to do with $8, also pay the $8 and probably destroy the happiness of others on the platform because $8 is nothing much, right? So end of the day, whether Twitter actually becomes successful going forward versus not has nothing to do with the $8 fee in my opinion, right? It has to do a lot with how Elon Musk is going to run the platform, how he is going to treat customers, brands and his employees themselves, right? So now the point is why are brands leaving Twitter like almost all the brands are now starting to announce that hey we are pausing our Twitter campaigns. I believe two or three reasons and this is number one. There are a lot of options other than Twitter at this point in time. To start with again Netflix. Netflix has recently announced that for every single hour of content that a user is watching they will serve five minutes worth of ads. Now, that's a lot of ads, right? Millions of subscribers watching millions of hours of content on Netflix. A lot of ad space is getting created, which was not available for brands previously. So, and instead of debating whether to basically advertise on Twitter versus not, they rather take that money and happily invest in Netflix to see at least what is the potential return on their investments. Number two is that brands can't pause their spending and keep that money in their back pocket. They have to continue spending. Otherwise, the chief financial officers will come and say, hey, you did not spend that money last year, so I'm cutting your budget, the marketing budget next year, which marketing teams don't want to happen. So they'll rather spend that money on TikTok or Netflix rather than just pausing their Twitter campaigns. And if these other platforms like TikTok and Netflix prove to be having better return on investments then this Twitter advertising budgets it will take a long time for them to get back that budget. Number three is that advertising industry itself runs on relationships. When Twitter's chief executives in the advertising space are living they are not just living by themselves they are also taking away the relationships that they have built with people over the years. So unfortunately, this does not look like a short term ad spending hit on Twitter platform. This might continue for a very long term. Previously, even Meta had this kind of problem in 2019 when for a month or two, a lot of advertisers paused their campaigns on Meta platform. But they rebounded back in one month because Meta is a huge advertising platform, unlike Twitter. Twitter is a very small platform for that perspective. So there are not even hopes that Twitter will be bouncing back soon. So these are the problems that Twitter might be facing. And in my opinion, it has nothing to do with the platform or its efficacy, but it has to do a lot with 
the policies and how Elon Musk is going to handle the platform. Thank you so much guys. If you like this video, please press on the like button, share it with your friends, family and we'll see you again next day. Take care. Bye-bye.